move very quick in historical research. It has a pace that in many cases can't be, it can't be accelerated. But we have to. We have to. Our heritage in North Carolina is eroding away. In many cases, quite literally, that bluff on the north side of Rhode Island is eroding away in a storm that will lose three or four feet at a time. We are losing a lot of our cultural heritage. We're losing to development, we're losing to erosion. And perhaps if we realize that the story of the lost colony is not just a play set on Roanoke Island, it's not a story of one little piece of North Carolina, but it's a story of all of North Carolina. It took place across the, the canvas of East North Carolina, but it's really a North Carolina story. <coughs> Perhaps it would be more urgent if we recognize that there are so many new ways to find new information. After being stuck with essentially the same limited historical sources for 100 years, new information is coming in and can come in at an accelerating pace as we deploy a range of technologies in the, in the search process. And I said last, we've got to hurry. We've got to hurry. If we don't tell our story accurately, the History Channel will be happy to ruin it. The greatest risk is the story of the Roanoke Colony or anything else that we value in the history of North Carolina is the mistelling of it by others, seeking merely to exploit it. You can have all the strongly supported research-based findings about the lost colony. You will have a very hard time overcoming the kind of distortions that we see on programs like the History Channel. All the hard work of teams of archaeologists cannot undo one more dare stone story. <laughs> We've got to get in front of this. We've got to get our story back. The best way to get the greatest value from this classroom of history and at the same time accelerate our effort to our cover our path is to get our students. I think the best way to learn the STEM discipline, science, technology, engineering, math, is to put it to work in North Carolina, understanding our story. And the Lost Colony story, this persistent appeal is an ideal one with which to engage, particularly our schools in Northeast North Carolina. Schools that are struggling in many ways to build their education on science and math have within their own heritage that of innovation in science itself. The story of the lost colony is preceded by the story of the greater Roman colony, which is a story of science and exploration and ambition and investment. The very same things we think are recent developments in the U.S. economy and culture. And because somebody's going to ask, on this list of things to do is indeed genetics. Are we related to the lost colonists? My genealogy says our family story is always. Can you take a swab for me and we'll test and see if I'm related? There is a fascination that we need to honor, and that is that people want to connect as people to their history. So, if you think you might be related to a Roanoke colonist, <laughs> then you are also related to people of color in Eastern North Carolina. The heroes of the Roanoke colony story are the Indian allies who, against their better judgment, took these people in, made them members of their community. And it's through their lines that we will find any direct descendant of the Roman colonists. They became members of their Indian tribe, and in the process, the Indian allies became a little bit English too. What occurred if indeed we have two, a, a generation of cohabitation is that the English didn't become Indians, and the Indians became a little more English than they had been. What we have is, in North Carolina, the first stirring of the melting these things can be valid. We have a story in our state that's a demonstration of the great experiment of our founding fathers. <clears throat> so, 
We may never find a body of a lost colonist. That's what you have to do. You do DNA testing. You've got to find bodies. Or we may have already found them and they're in boxes because they were discovered in an Indian village and assumed to be native. But regardless of whether any of us can claim direct descendants from the lost colony, we are all heirs of that enterprise. We all have an inheritance, and that inheritance is that in a history full of conflict, in a history full of, of sad stories of genocide and disease, we have a story where for a while people got along. We have a story of the melting pot, and in some cases maybe parts of the pot. Now, the question that's posed at the beginning of this presentation is why do we search for the lost colony? I often get stuck in a lot of deep philosophical thinking about this, but it's really very simple. We search for the lost colony because it's ours, because it's lost, <laughs> and because our generation, from the youngest to the oldest, we have the best and last chance bring them 